Hey, Faith family, today my devotion comes from Acts 16, 25 through 34. Here we find Paul and Silas in prison. They've healed a demonic girl, and it messed up these guys' business. So it made them mad. They surrounded the community and, and drummed up uh, support and got Paul and Silas thrown into prison. So we find them here in verse 27. It says, uh, verse 25, it says, But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, so the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, awakening from his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, supposing that the prisoners had, sled, had fled, drew his sword and was about to kill himself. But Paul called with a loud voice saying, Do yourself no harm. We are all here. Then he called for a light, ran in, and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. And he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? So they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all who were in the house. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. And immediately he and all of his family were baptized. Now, when he had brought them into his house, he set food before them, and he received, having believed in God with all of his household. They were praising the Lord. You caught that, right? They were praising the Lord in the middle of prison. They were praising the Lord in the middle of doing exactly what they were supposed to do. And praising in prison, it led to an open door for them to share the gospel. What do we do when you or where you don't exactly want to be but you're exactly where you need to be. I'm going to say that one more time. What do you do when you are where you don't want to be, but you are exactly where God needs you to be? Most of the people would be mad and complaining. Most of the people in my life would be mad and complaining about finding themselves in jail, doing what they were called to do. And most of the people I know are Christians. And we look at that and how do we worship in the middle of circumstances that don't seem good? We've grown up in a culture, and we often have a church culture that teaches us, man, that we're supposed to have everything we want and all this stuff, and we're never going to have to hurt, never going to have pain. But Paul is teaching us here that that is contrary to the gospel. And if we really want opportunities to share the gospel with the people in our communities, we've got to let them know that even in spite of all the mess that we're dealing with, we're still praising the Lord. That draws people to the Christ that we have. Even though most of the people I know are Christians and would be complaining, they're doing the right thing. But let me tell you, most miracles start with a mess. So right in the middle of your mess, I want to challenge you to begin worshiping God. Right now, I don't know what you've dealt with today. I don't know what's going on in your life, but the Father is right there with you. And through our praise, He draws, He inhabits the praises of His people. And so if we really want to impact our communities like we're called to, let's begin to praise the Lord. Salvation is the biggest miracle of all. And praise leads to miracles. Our praise is a weapon that unfortunately we don't use often enough because our weapon's on safety. We're a little afraid to worship sometimes. Or we're out of ammo, working out of ministry and, and cups that are dry instead of overflowing with the Spirit of God because we've worked ourselves way too hard. Allow Father to renew your spirit right now. Even though you don't feel like it, Come on, just right there where you are, just begin to praise the Father. And you're going to be renewed and you're going to be strengthened like never before. Our prayer today is that the Lord will help us have open doors to share the gospel. And I believe those open doors, like we saw in our story today, in our text today, 
come through praise. So take some time today and be thankful for all that God has done and thank him in advance for what he is going to do. Father, I pray that you create a ministry at Faith Church and our surrounding areas and all our campuses, God, that we will be people of praise. And Father, I pray that you give us opportunities to share your gospel. In your name we pray, amen.